I had a lot more bronzers than I thought. Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch. So today we are doing another collection and declutter video. And today we are doing bronzers and blushes. I only have probably four blushes, but I do have a ton of bronzers, so this video might be a long one. I'll try and cut it down as much as I can. But anyways, if you want to see my bronzer collection and watch me declutter it, then please just keep watching. So I accidentally started talking about my highlighters and powders, so I actually did that first, so that's why the drawer looks kind of empty because all of those are out right now. So yeah, let's just get into these bronzers and blushes. So the first thing I have is the Anastasia Contour Kit, and there's no way I'm getting rid of this. It's one of my favorites ever. This banana shade is almost gone. I really love this sand shade. This shade called Java is my favorite contour shade, and then this vanilla shade is super pretty for a subtle highlight. I really love this palette. It's an all-around good palette. I sometimes even use these contour shades, but yeah, I am definitely keeping this one. Next, I have this blush and bronzer mini palette from Coastal Scents, and this has two blushes, this really light highlighter, and then these two bronzers. I am going to give this one away because I actually don't even know if I've touched this before. I think I've only swatched them, so I am going to give this one away. Okay, next I have this Too Faced Sweet Peach Blush, and this is still in the packaging because I literally just got it a bit ago, but I finally got a couple things from the Sweet Peach collection and this blush being one of them. So yeah, it's so cute. I haven't touched it yet because I wanted to take a really cute picture with it, but yeah, it smells like peaches. It's super pretty. I swatch it in store and I'm really excited to use it. Next I have this e.l.f. bronzer palette and this has four bronzers in it. This was only $8 and I really wanted to get it. I already have tried a couple e.l.f. bronzers before and I really love them. These bronzers are just so pigmented and smooth so I am going to keep this palette. Next I have this Temp2 liquid bronzer and I've only used this one time so I am going to keep it because I haven't really given it a fair go yet. Last time I used it I think I used a little too much so I'm going to try it again and use a bit less but yeah I really do like this bronzer so so I am going to keep it. Next I have this Physicians Formula Bronzer and this is a bronze booster in the shade Light to Medium. This one's super cute. It has all the different seasons names on it. So this one's Winter, which is extremely light for a bronzer. Even all mixed together, it's just a little too light for me, but it is really nice and smooth. So I am going to give this one away just because it's a little too light for me. The next Physicians Formula Bronzer I have is the Butter Bronzer and no way am I getting rid of this one. One of my favorite bronzers, this one has a dent in it if you can see. But yeah, yeah, it's just super smooth. It smells like a pina colada. It is the perfect shade. I think they come in two shades. I think there's one a little bit either lighter than this or darker than this. I'm not sure which shade I have. But yeah, it's just so nice. It comes with a weird sponge thing and a mirror. But yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. I love it. Next, I have this Model Co. bronzer and this is still in its packaging. I got this in a boxy charm, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I don't even remember what this looks like. Okay, so this is the bronzer. It's actually really cute packaging. It looks like there is a lot of sparkle in it and that's actually pretty smooth so that looks like a really pretty bronzer maybe a little too dark but I am going to give this one away because I have so many and obviously I haven't touched it so I must have not really been intrigued by it when I got it so I will give this one away so next I have this elf duo in the shade Saint Lucia and this has a bronzer and a blush in it I haven't actually really used this much I think I used the bronzer once but I am going to keep it I think I really did like the bronzer when I used it so I'm gonna keep it and try it out a bit again and maybe even try this blush so yeah I'm I'm gonna keep this one just so you keep trying it. So next I have these two MAC bronzers and I'm pretty sure these are Dunzo. This one is in the shade Refined Golden. This used to be my ride or die bronzer. I kept repurchasing it and kept using them up. Oh yeah, ugh. This one's pretty old, I bet you any money. So it's all cracked up, definitely not getting anything off of it. So that is actually just going to go in the trash. Or actually, I'll just keep it because if you keep six empty containers, then you get a free lipstick at MAC. Keep this one just to put in my empty containers. And then this one's in the shade Matte Bronze, and this was my second favorite bronzer. Oh yeah, this one's all shattered too. So I guess I'm just going to have to repurchase these bronzers. I don't know why I haven't because I know I love the MAC bronzers, and they're only about $20. So I should definitely restock up on those. Next I have this Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter Palette and I love this palette. I am definitely going to keep it. This contour shade is just very perfect and I really like the banana shade. It's super smooth. So I am going to keep this palette. Next I have this Estee Edit The Barest Bronze Bronzer. This is just a really huge bronzer and it's actually really pretty. I think I only used it once. So I am going to keep it just so I can keep trying it out but I got this a while ago so I should probably get on that. But from what I can remember I really 
really did like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Next I have this Wet n Wild Make a Glow Contouring Palette, and this one's in the shade Caramel Toffee. I actually really like this banana shade. It's super smooth, and then this bronzer shade's really nice too. I only really use it in the summer though because the bronzer shade is really dark, but I do like this palette and I am gonna keep it. Next I have this Pure Cosmetics Bronzer. This is the Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder, and I'm pretty sure I haven't even used this one. I am going to give it away just because I don't really reach for it. Next I have this Rimmel Natural Bronzer and this one's in the shade Sun Bronze. This bronzer is really nice. It's from the drugstore. It's really affordable. I really like this bronzer so I am going to keep it. Next I have this Sephora bronzer in the shade Lost Cobbles and this is a really pretty light bronzer. So if you have fair skin it would be a really pretty bronzer on you but I use it to contour and it's actually a really nice natural contour shade. I really like it. I'm definitely going to keep this one. It's really good. Okay next I have this Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronze. I actually think I used this once, which is pretty bad, but this bronzer is really smooth and nice. I think I'll really like it in the summertime. I really want to keep it just because the packaging is just so cute and everything, and I'm pretty sure I wanted to take a picture of this holding it outside, so I am going to keep this bronzer. This one, no way I'm getting rid of Benefit Hula Bronzer, so I am going to keep that. This is my second one I've owned, and yeah, it's just so good. It's just an all-around great bronzer with a nice neutral undertone, one of my favorites, so I'm not getting rid of this one. These last ones coming up are like my absolute favorite, so these ones are not going anywhere. This is the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer, and this one has a really pretty cool tone bronzer on one side and a warm tone bronzer on the other side, so when they're mixed together, it just makes for a beautiful glow. I talked about this one and a few others in my top five must-have bronzers, so I am not getting rid of this one. This one is just perfect for the summertime. Okay, one of my other favorites that is really comparable to the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer is this e.l.f. one in the shade Golden. One of my other favorites, this was only $4, so it's extremely affordable. I really love to mix these two diagonally, and it makes for a beautiful glow. This one and the Sweet Tea one look really similar swatched when you swatch these two, but they do come up different on the face, but I really love this one. So this one, I am going to keep. Okay, next, I just literally spilled all that MAC bronzer everywhere so I have to clean this but this is NARS Laguna and this is one of my all-time favorites I'm definitely not getting rid of this one this one has a big old dent in it I'm pretty sure I've gone through either two or three of these so this one I am keeping for sure okay this is an empty MAC palette which I did not know was in there, so that's perfect because I can pop a bunch of single shadows in here. Okay, we're coming up on the last few things here. This one is my last bronzer, and this is the Tarte Park Ave Princess Bronzer. One of my favorites, it's super pretty, and it makes a beautiful bronze glow, and just makes you look naturally sun-kissed and everything like that, so I'm going to keep this one. Next, I have this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, and this one is number two. I think they're just called number one and number two, but I don't see a name on here, it just says O2, so yeah, I think I'm right. This is one of my favorites in the summer. This is just a really pretty golden highlight, and then this bronzer looks really nice in the summertime. It's slightly on the orangey side, but I don't really mind that, so I am going to keep this one one of my favorites. And then the last three things are blushes. So this is the Wet n Wild blush in the shade Mellow Wine, and I actually haven't even used this one yet, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's not even opened, so I am going to keep it and obviously try it out. This is my all-time favorite blush. This is the NARS blush in the shade Luster, so I am I'm going to keep this. It's a really pretty apricot undertone and it's just perfect for spring, so I am going to keep this one. And then the last thing here is this e.l.f. blush in the shade Mellow Mauve, and I use this one in my Valentine's Day tutorial. And this one is just a super cheap blush and it's really nice. It sums up beautifully on the skin and it's really nice and light, so I am going to keep this one. So that's it for the video. I don't think I did too good, but this is my favorite drawer. It's really hard for me to part with stuff in here, so I only got rid of four four things in this drawer. So I'm getting rid of the blush and bronzer Coastal Scents palette, this Physicians Formula bronzer, the Pure Cosmetics bronzer, and the Model Co bronzer. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and like the video if you enjoyed it. I hope you guys like this type of video. I will be continuing to do more and cleaning out my whole makeup collection. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!